Welcome back to The Disco, FDA's Drug Information Soundcast and Clinical Oncology, first edition, brought to you by FDA's Division of Drug Information in partnership with FDA's Oncology Center of Excellence. Today, we'll provide a quick update on a recent FDA cancer drug approval. On November 14, 2022, the FDA granted accelerated approval to Mervituximab, Seravtensine, GYNX, brand name Elahir, for adult patients with folate receptor alpha positive, platinum resistant epithelial ovarian, fallopian tube, or primary peritoneal cancer, who have received one to three prior systemic treatment regimens. Mervituximab seravtensine, GYNX, is a folate receptor alpha directed antibody and microtubule inhibitor conjugate. Patients are selected for therapy based on an FDA approved test. The FDA also approved the Ventana FOLR1 RXDX assay as a companion diagnostic device to select patients for the above indication. Efficacy was evaluated in study 0417, a single arm trial of 106 patients with folate receptor alpha positive, platinum resistant epithelial ovarian, fallopian tube, or primary peritoneal cancer. Patients were permitted to receive up to three prior lines of systemic therapy. All patients were required to have received bevacizumab. The trial enrolled patients whose tumors were positive for folate receptor alpha expression as determined by the above assay. Patients were excluded if they had corneal disorders, ocular conditions requiring ongoing treatment, grade greater than one peripheral neuropathy, or non-infectious interstitial lung disease. Patients received mervituximab seravtensine GYNX 6 mg per kilogram based on adjusted ideal body weight as an intravenous infusion every three weeks until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. Tumor response assessments occurred every six weeks for the first 36 weeks and every 12 weeks thereafter. The main efficacy outcome measures were investigator-assessed overall response rate and duration of response evaluated according to RESIST, version 1.1. In the efficacy evaluable population of patients who had platinum-resistant measurable disease and received at least one dose, the confirmed overall response rate was 31.7% and median duration of response was 6.9 months. The most common adverse reactions, including laboratory abnormalities, occurring in more than 20% of patients were vision impairment, fatigue, increased aspartate aminotransferase, nausea, increased alanine aminotransferase, keratopathy, abdominal pain, decreased lymphocytes, peripheral neuropathy, diarrhea, decreased albumin, constipation, increased alkaline phosphatase, dry eye, decreased magnesium, decreased leukocytes, decreased neutrophils, and decreased hemoglobin. Product labeling includes a box warning for ocular toxicity. Full prescribing information for these approvals can be found on the web at fda.gov slash drugs at FDA. Healthcare professionals should report serious adverse events to FDA's MedWatch reporting program at fda.gov slash MedWatch. Follow the Division of Drug Information on Twitter at FDA Drug Info and the Oncology Center of Excellence at FDA Oncology. Send your feedback via email to FDA Oncology at FDA.hhs.gov. Thanks for tuning in to the Disco First Edition.